now for our athlete of the week presented by Subway. Today, we introduce you to Cynthia Fiore, a Spartan race competitor who isn't just battling the obstacles on a course, but a giant hurdle off of it. Daryl Rummeld has more on her inspiring story. There you go. This is Cynthia Fiore powering through the toughest race of her life. Ten months ago, when she signed up for her first ultra marathon, she never imagined she'd be competing at the World Spartan Championship in Lake Tahoe. But the challenges she faced on this course are nothing compared to those in her everyday life. I know one day I won't be able to do this. In 2003, Cynthia Fiore was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Over the past three years, she started to notice the change. You kind of have to change everything. You change your perspective on everything diet, exercise. She's been a huge asset to our team. Uh, she comes out here and she, she pushes hard. She's, uh, she, she's pushing most of our guys. Everybody else, you guys got the option. We're just going to go body weight. So this is about challenging herself and showing others just how strong she can be. Goal setting is so important because my kids are, my kids are seven and nine and they don't know what obstacles I will face as my body begins to change. So I want to show my family, my friends, that this isn't, uh, this isn't dictating who I am. I've always been a competitive person, and I've always worked hard. Fiori accomplished her goal, finishing the Spartan World Championship course. She says she'll continue to compete for as long as she can. I do feel like a role model. I do. I do feel that I inspire. My kids, I, I run a daycare. I feel that I inspire all those little children, my little wonders. I feel that I inspire their families. I don't think they know the challenges that I face mentally every day. You know, is today going to be a good day? Is today going to be a bad day? An estimated 100,000 people in Canada suffer from MS. And while Fiore knows eventually its effects may catch up to her, she's willing to try to outrun them for as long as she can. Daryl Rumble, CTV News, Regina.